new videos every day. Hi, my name is Sonia Spray and I'm a yoga teacher from Austin, Texas. And today I'm going to show you a yoga sequence to help relieve anxiety. So maybe you want to try this before a big meeting or a big test if you're a student. Um, but to get started, we're just going to move right into sun salutations. So that's just a flowing sequence that gets the blood moving, kind of just gets all that worry out of your system. So coming to the front of your mat, standing evenly on the tripod of your foot. We'll inhale, look up at your fingertips, and exhale, fold forward. Let the neck go. Inhale, look up halfway, and exhale, step or hop to the back of your mat, and take it through Chaturanga. Inhale for Cobra, or bring the knees up for Up Dog, and then draw the belly back, and press into down dog. You'll take five breaths here and start transferring the weight over your heels. So down dog's kind of tricky because it looks like you want even weight in your arms and your legs, but really you want your legs to bear as much as possible and you want your hands there just for a little bit of support. So you're gonna start peeling your hands up off the floor, shifting your weight over into your hips and bend the elbow slightly instead of hyperextending. On your next inhale, you'll look in between your hands and step or hop to the front of your mat. Inhale, look up halfway, and exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, look all the way up at your fingers, and exhale, bring your hands down to your side. We'll take that again, inhaling, looking up, exhale, fold forward, inhale, come up halfway, extending the spine, and exhale, step or hop, and take it through chaturanga, drop the knees if you want, and take it through cobra or up dog, and then draw the belly back, and press into your heels for down dog. So breathe deeply here. In through the nose, filling the rib cage, and even breathing into that kidney area right in here. And exhaling slowly. You can pump your heels if you want, get the blood moving in your legs a little more, and then press back. On your next inhale, look in between your hands and step or hop to the front of your mat. Come up halfway and then exhale, release over your legs. Inhale, come all the way up. Look at your fingertips and then draw your hands down to your side. And then we're gonna move into warrior poses. So stepping back with that left foot, you're gonna rotate the left heel down, keeping the right foot straight ahead. And you're gonna bend that front knee so when you start bending here, instead of bending and just kind of letting your hips fall open, you want to keep those hips square. So you want them both square side to side so you don't want any hitching. And you also want them square front to back. So if your hips are really sticking out one way or the other, you want to try and keep them parallel, lifting with that low belly. And then instead the bend comes from the tailbone tucking into the body and that guides the bend of the knee. And once you're there, you'll inhale, and look up at your fingertips, either bringing your palms together or bringing them maybe 18 inches apart so you have a little more space in your shoulders. And really press that back heel. And as you press that back heel, feel the power extend through your fingertips. And breathe here, breathe high. Tuck that tailbone a little farther forward and feel those hips sink open. And then we're gonna come up and out of the pose, straightening that foot. And we're gonna tiptoe that back foot in a little bit as you lean forward. So as you kick that left foot back, you're gonna come forward with the right foot. Now, if you have 
props handy and it's a little bit hard to balance. You can use books or a cushion or if you have blocks and use that to help hold yourself parallel. And you don't want to go over, so this isn't a standing split. You want to keep it straight at a 90 degree angle with that bottom leg. But if you can, you want to lift the hands. And if the ground is uneven, it makes it a little easier. <laughs> and look out in front of you. And even if your hands are down, look out in front of you. And breathe here. Feel that power of the bottom leg. Bend the knee slightly to make sure the power is really coming from the leg and you're not just locking it into place. And exhale and drop out of it as gracefully as possible. And we're just going to fold forward into Parsvottanasana or Pyramid Pose. And this is going to be a more relaxed Pyramid Pose, so you might be used to having the hands behind the back and like extending, but here we're just going to let the hands fold forward and really relax here and just let go of everything. Breathe heavily and deeply into the torso, into the hips and anywhere you might feel tension. And just quiet your thoughts and focus on your breath instead. And we're gonna inhale, roll all the way up and we'll come back to the front of our mats. And we're going to take that sequence on the opposite side, so stepping back this time with the right foot, keeping the left foot parallel, seeing that front knee track over the second toe. And inhale, look up, press that back heel, and extend through the fingertips. So these poses are generally named with some purpose, so these warrior one poses, or all the warrior poses, are really empowering. You want to feel the strength sourced from the ground, really press in the heels and lift up. Feel the strength in the, back, strength in the backs of your legs. Feel your upper body supported. Feel that you can even bend back slightly. Again, the bend in the knee comes from the tailbone tucking under and lift your gaze and feel that you can handle anything that's gonna come your way, including warrior three. So set yourself up, we're gonna straighten that front knee, start tiptoeing that other foot in and hinging forward. And as your torso comes forward, your legs come up and then either choosing a point in front of you that's not moving to focus on for balance or you do that either way and then keeping the arms high or on the block or if you want to you can even kind of meet it halfway at the hips and start working your way towards extending the arms focusing on the balance and again bend the knee to make sure you're not hyperextending and you might even feel that hamstring and the quad work a little harder when you do that. Try not to hunch the shoulders, let them float away from the ears. And on your next exhale, release as gracefully as possible and fold over the front leg for pyramid pose, Parsvottanasana. You can close your eyes here. Feel the weight evenly distributed in both feet. Feel the toes grasp just slightly. And breathe through the nose, again into the back and high into the sternum. And just dissolve any tension you're feeling. Okay, and then we're going to bring the, that foot back behind us and press into down dog for a moment. Feel that your legs might be a little bit different. and Maybe shake it out. Get that circulation back to normal. And we're going to release down to all fours. 
and just press back into down or into child's pose for a moment. Balasana. And then we're gonna come up to seated. And we're gonna take a couple twists. So, to set up for this twist, a Matsyasana twist, you're gonna take, um, which is just a sage's name, so it doesn't, this one doesn't necessarily have the same meaning as the warrior poses. Um, you're gonna take your left leg, so I'm mirroring you, and tuck it in so the heel comes to the opposite hip. And then this other one's just gonna stack in front of it. And you, if you want a little deeper twist, you can bring the heel to the other side of the knee. Um, and if your sit bone is peeling up off the floor, you want to work to press that down, but it's okay if it doesn't touch. If you want to feel that contact, you can use a towel or a blanket or a cushion to fill in that space. And we're we'll bring the left elbow across the right knee. So again, I'm mirroring you and just take a gentle twist. You can keep the hand lifted or just relax it down. You're gonna look behind you. And on the inhale, lift up, feel the spine get long. Feel yourself pulled by the hairs on your head. And exhale, release. Feel that liquid belly sensation where your abs just let go and fold across the body. And again, on the inhales, keep thinking about lifting and the exhales, just really let go. Pressing into the sit bones, feel the legs heavy. And inhale, looking forward and coming back to center. And we'll switch sides, so releasing that top leg into a crossed position. Bringing the other one either ankles in front of the other or bringing the ankle across the knee. And this time, right elbow across left knee. And again, moving that prop if you want to make contact with that left sit bone and the ground. And either keeping the hand high and pressing that elbow for a tiny bit of traction or relaxing the arm across. And just gently look behind you and relax. Let those hips sink down. Feel the feet sink into the ground too. Feel that even though you're sitting, your legs, the bottom portion of your body is where you're finding the support. And from that grounding, extend up through the spine on your inhale and exhale. Relax into the pose. And just breathe and release. Come back to center on your next inhale. Unwind the legs. And then you're gonna roll onto your back one vertebrae at a time for Shavasana or cor corpse pose. So rotate your arms up so that your shoulder blades lay flat against the ground. And close your eyes and relax. If you want to, you can support your head or your shoulders with a blanket or a pillow. And use whatever props make you comfortable in this pose. You can roll up a blanket or a cushion behind the knees too, so you get a little lift there and release in the legs. So take at least a five minute rest here. It's especially important if you're experiencing anxiety and you have something to prepare for in your day and just let go. Focus on the breath here. Inhaling deeply in the belly. You can even put your hands on top of your belly and feel the air fill and exhale, let go. And anytime your mind wanders onto anything that's stressing you out, just bring that thought back to the breath. And that was a sequence for anxiety. And in our next video, we'll do a hip opening yoga sequence. Thanks. If you liked this video, we have hundreds of more alternative videos ranging from sexual health to psychology to mind control. So if you liked it, go ahead and click on me to enter the Psyche Truth channel.